Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, kind of had a lengthy discussion about sleeping habits and how they've changed over time. And now, the crazy man has found light roots to go discover. Bad babies. Bad babies everywhere. Oh my god, that just... I don't know why, I've been saying bad babies to these little froxes constantly, and only just now did I just get, like... Just get like a whiplash of something from my past that I of of one of the very few movies I've watched that I know I watched to death. Yeah, uh, relatively speaking. So everybody's gonna kinda know where this is gonna go when I do start talking about, but uh there was a uh god, what is the actor's name? I always Rick Moranis. Um there was a there was a movie. There was a movie that came out that was hugely popular just because it was actually at the time super impressively cinematic. Like, they had puppets in it, so I want to say that maybe Jim Henson or a similar puppeteer had hands in it. But uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Huge boom, boom, boom movie. Amazing movie. Everybody, everybody loved it because it was funny. It was sci-fi. It had drama. Like, it had a lot of genres in it, and it made a really compelling movie. For as weird as that sounds. But yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. They made, uh, they made, ended up making a sequel to that movie, which I watched as much if, uh, but I watched as much, if not possibly more than the original of Honey, I Bloop the Baby. Now that sounds terrible if you don't, if you don't know the plot synopsis of that movie. I'm well aware. I wonder if there's something up there. We'll backtrack in a minute after I go look in that corner. I may warp back to this spot. That's an arena we can't do anything with. There is nobody out there to worry about. But the, uh, well, Honey, We Shrunk the Kids, the premise of the movie, uh, the premise of that movie, for anybody who's too young to remember, is basically dad, scientist, Rick Moranis. He, he, uh, he had, he, you know, he has to keep a nine to five job, but he also does his own scientific experiments at home. He's just an absolute geek and a nerd. And being a, it is a full on Hollywood proper video, uh, video yeah, movie. You know, he's got a very attractive wife and two kids, and or uh, maybe three, even three kids, because I want to say it was four kids, three of them about the same age, and one that was younger. God, I should actually watch that movie because that would be a blast from the past for me. Okay, nothing back there. Um, double check myself. But yeah, like it, and the whole part, uh, thing was, you know, he does all of his experiments in the walk-in, uh, easily accessible walk-in attic. Well, the kids, being dumb kids, end up going up there and poking around it, and through his stuff and find what is effectively a shrink ray, and they start messing around with it. I think they actually do it in reverse and we're like making small foods bigger. And then they goofed around and uh, we're like, oh, what if it works on us? And they they shot it themselves and that's the plot of the movie. They shrink themselves, somehow find somehow fall into their, somehow fall into the backyard. And it's like a week long endeavor to go from their backyard to their house to unshrink themselves. They meet a, they, they get a pet ant. Or yeah, they meet and they meet and make friends with an ant, Auntie. I'm surprised that I remember that, even though it's a very simple name. Uh, the ant dies for them. Meanwhile, the mom and the dad and uh, well, I should back up a little bit. The four kids, I, I I'm again remembering I'm remembering very poorly about this, but the four kids I'm pretty sure are uh, two of them. Is this? No. That's separated entirely. I have to go south still. Oh, I have to go from here to get there. I hate this. Continue talking about movie, anyway. Um. Yeah, like, it was three kids. It's two kids roughly the same age, and then a younger, and then a younger kid. And then the two older kids have a friend who is effectively, forgive my phrasing, is effectively the jackass friend. He's a jackass, but everybody, but... Uh, but unfortunately, he's endeared. Why am I here when I could warp closer? My brain. It is soup. And I think the the jackass friend, as I so lovingly called him, 
was actually the kid that, uh, you know, basically got all the everything set in motion to cause this all these events to happen and go down. Uh, I'm gonna go towards this red mark. So it, that's how close I was. Anyway, but yeah, that's uh, I have definitely fought this. I've definitely fought this, so I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna pay it any mind. But have I gone there? I can minorly see it on the map, so that's uh, gonna get marked. But yeah, so that's what that whole movie that's what whole, that whole movie was. You know, it's a story about overcoming hardships, teamwork, comedy at bits, the horrors of microscopic life, and uh, two parents panicking because they thought, or I guess four parents panicking. Thinking that they lost all their kids. When they find out about two thirds of the way through the video. No, they shrunk themselves. I don't know. It's a good movie. I would say it's a good movie. Definitely, you know, a, definitely a pro, it definitely has a little bit of a product of its time of the 90s as well. So take it with a take it with a grain of salt. But anyway, back back on track. So the movie I love the sequel movie I love just as much. And like I said, honey, I blew up the baby, which it still stars stars Mick, Rick Moranis as the lead character, same scientist, same scientist effectively. But, and it has kind of the same uh, underlying plot of dad messing around with this time a growth ray. But the but don't worry, the premise the premise is purely to use it as a way to increase the world's food supply and not use to like shrink other thing uh, have a secondary effect of shrinking things. To make things more convenient, like shrinking your car and walking your car into the building with you. Something like that. Uh fart. I'm gonna go up that I'm gonna go up that light I'm gonna go up that tower first. But yeah, it's just and I think it was an ax it was it was entirely an accident, I think is how it all boiled down in the end. Oh, how am I gonna get up? I may have to make a liftoff rocket to get up. I'm gonna make a liftoff rocket to get up. Um. But yeah, that's how. That's that was the whole plot and premise of the. But the whole plot and premise of the movie was just. It's just uh. It was just oops. Uh, honey, the baby got hit with the growth light ray, but it wasn't immediate. Like the baby wasn't. The baby was like you know baby size for a while, but it was like a gradual growth. It's like. Okay, well, the baby is, you know, for some reason, it has its own, effectively, a jungle gym. Okay, that's fine, you know, kind of makes sense. Baby is big enough to fit in said jungle gym, you know, we don't bat an eye, it's not weird yet. Then the baby becomes the size of a room. And then has to basically live outside the backyard. Meanwhile, the dad, McRanis, is panicking, how do I undo this? So yeah, that's all going on, and then uh, at some point, it basically becomes it basically becomes a Godzilla movie. Uh, I'm gonna hit you from the backside, like that. Uh, you eyes, you missed the mark. Don't make me do air combat. Do not make me do air combat. This will not end well if I do. Let me just go up through the house. And I suppose uh, the family, the overall family size is smaller in scope. Like, there's still a, uh, there is still a, there is still at least one other sibling. But they're a teenager. I forget if it's, I forget if it's the, uh, I forget if it's uh, the male or the female who's the, who's the, uh, in this kind of relationship that is because it's basically a boyfriend girlfriend relationship and I forget if it's the male or the female that's the that's the sibling of Rick but at some point like the baby kidnaps them because the baby doesn't know any better but it's also the size of a kaiju that's the thing I fought earlier never mind I was about to mark that I'm not gonna lie yeah, if I look out here I don't have that mark never mind that might be something we're gonna go to next but yeah, for whatever reason, like, it's kind of the same premise. I love that movie just as much as I, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, by the way, we're at that magic 1400 mark. 
it's I remember that I remember loving that movie just as much as Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Like for for a while there when I was younger, I used to watch them back to back. For when you really need to get the hell out of there. Super Spring. Um speaking of Super Spring. So the light roots behind me. How do I not see that fight? That is the fight from before. I'm just somehow feels like it's so much closer. Okay. Go towards the darker blue. But uh, while I'm thinking of this and I want to get off, like, this is a tangent I'm going to get on. I always, some, for some reason, I get on this tangent. But I will say before I start, like, there, I don't reckon, I don't remember or recognize voice actors or, or uh, I don't remember uh, voice actors' voices very well. Or actors' faces, faces and names together very well. There's a very few select. There's very select few I do remember very well. Rick Moranis is one of those few that I remember very well. So I would say if you ever want to like, if you ever need like an afternoon of movies to watch, and you're looking for more comedy than anything, just thumb through everything on IMDb that lists Rick Moranis as an actor. And I put a sword on that one. And, uh... Man, this still sucks. <laughs> Alright. Heading south. Uh, I'm gonna say there's light route, like, about here. I'm also putting this just because it'll help guide me guide me where I need to go in case I get turned around. Uh, but yeah, uh, to finish the thought on that, like, Rick Moranis. Uh, the other movies I can think of that he's been in, one I didn't see until, like, two years ago. Or three years ago, excuse me. Um, Spaceballs, specifically. Like, he's in Spaceballs. Uh, he plays Barney Rubble in the live adaptation of the Flintstones. Which, that is... That is probably in, uh, up there in, like, my favorite movies of all time. Is the live-action Flintstones with uh, John Goodman and Rick Moranis. But anyway, movie recommendations aside, even though, like, a couple episodes ago, I just got done saying, I don't watch movies! No, I had I had more talk about brain. I had more talk about with movies. I got on this. I got on a roll here. Right, Rick Moranis again. Okay, Rick Moranis in general. So the thing is, uh, Rick Moranis hasn't done anything with movies in the last. I'm gonna say 20 years, roughly 20 years. Because on top of being actually a very like at least in my opinion, from what I see from an outside perspective, not knowing him personally, that whole sp that whole spiel. You know, as an outsider looking in. He's a, he seems like he's a very funny person, and he's a very wholesome and kind-hearted person. And that uh, that kind of comes to the fact and ties in the whole thing of, like, you know, he hasn't done anything the last 20-ish years because his uh, his his uh, wife succumbed, his real-life wife succumbed to the unfortunate... I saw something to pick up. Was it just a rock? It was just a rock. His, his wife succumbed to the unfortunateness that is the, uh, the big C. And I'm not talking cell. Uh, well, technically I'm talking cell, but not that cell. But, so, in order to raise, uh, raise, I, I can't remember if he had two kids at the time or just a daughter, but to raise his, but raise his family, he dropped out of Hollywood. He, he said, nope, I have a family, I have a family to take care of and make sure that they grow up proper. I am done with Hollywood. Like, these are things that I remember, like, that, again, I learned, oh boy, I learned about them many moons later, and then I remember, and then when I remember them, I talk about them. I talk about them because they're just, they're neat little factoids. Like, you would, you would, like, be that guy that'd be walking around, like, saying, like, job application and handing me a job application for her and saying, get a life, do something better with your life than, than obsess over actors. This is, like, the only one. This is, like, the only one I have this kind of... Attachment to give me give me a rest Anyway, give me your give me your chew jelly. This will be very important later. Anyway So yeah, like he pretty much dropped out of oh, that's oh Oh, there's probably a light route around here, too. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know Uh, Light route? Light route don't go? Uh, anyway. 
Well, I see a treasure-ish up there, so we might look at that, but... Oh, I do see it right there. Let's, let's light up the path and see what it is. Are you seriously telling me I'm gonna build something to go up there? Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, uh, clip through the bottom. I'll clip through the bottom of the world. But, ah, there's one. And I think that's close to the other light route that I've got marked from a while ago. So we might be able to turn upwards now. Uh, just in case, let's get a weapon out. Please wait a moment. I'll try to investigate this construct. I get that you're curious, but I'd prefer you didn't interrupt me. Yeah, I remember this. Hi. Give me your hazy voice. I was just caught up in investigation. Mm. It's been examining this country for so long, I just can't seem to get it to move, moving. Well, given that you showed up down here, I can't have to ask. Do you know how to act a contract? Yes. Oh. You do? I thought a famous hero like you might. In fact, I was sure of it. First, I'll rough you up a little. Then, I'll find a way to make you talk. Huh? Good luck. No one's been able to make Link talk in 35 years. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, be careful here, because this is, uh, yeah, these are, these are, uh, this is kind of what I remember, is there are, there are some constructs that if you want to activate, you actually do have to, uh, bully the Yiga clan that are circling these abandoned mines in order to even activate them. That's what I remember, and I guess it doesn't happen until you get, like, close to the end of all the, all the mine shafts. Because I want to say, like, the ones I remember from were, like, the uh, Lurlin abandoned mine we went to uh, at the start of the session. That's that's one I remember. Like it's like a Yiga clan member would let me do things there. Anyway, but yeah, like there's only a handful of actors like I can and voice actors I can recognize, and even then it takes me a lot of. Excuse me, even with that it takes me a lot of like listening to the roles very in depth, very intently, and then it's like now I can recognize them. Uh, the ones I can think of off the top of my head, just on the spot, I can think of top of my head of people I will recognize no matter what role they do. Would, uh, much to the chagrin of a handful of people, uh, would probably be Ad Adam Sandler, uh, Gerard, Gerard Butler, and voice actors Christina V, who I mentioned before, but I'll mention again, is, is a, vo uh, she does, uh, sampling voices for Hestu in the, uh, Breath of the Wild mythos, uh, branch of mythos for uh, Hyrule or Z Legend of Zelda. And there's probably a few others I could name, but like those are like the three I can think of right off the top of my head. Why does this get a whole a whole list of discussion about like actors and actresses I can I know or recognize? I have to find things to talk about, and this is what I'm talking about today. Anyway, hi. I don't require these large zone these large zonites. Please get them out of my inventory. <sighs> Actually, now that I have more now that I have a royal bow and a duplex bow, let's uh class down a little bit so I can have fun with I can have fun doing things. Now, I definitely just got a schematic for a spring, and they definitely gave me the pieces for it, but I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I don't need it that bad. Anyway, I don't see a light route out this way, so I'm going to leave that red mark there just as a coming back point, and we're going to turn towards the both the blue marks that I have up this way. Man, I just got... I just got three large crystallized charges. I wonder what's going to happen if I'll get a third... if I'll uh, get that point of hitting a third row of batteries or not. Anyway, oh, is this functional? Can I just take this and drive it where I want to go? Hell yeah, brother. I'm a going mining, brother. You can't stop me, brother. Screw it, this is not a traversal vehicle. It is now! <laughs> this is so slow. I could push forward to make it go faster, but it... Oh, maybe not. Maybe this... Maybe, okay, this became a bad idea. What do you mean became? It was a bad idea the moment you said, watch this. Everybody's famous la everybody's famous last words. Hey, watch this. I shouldn't say everybody. I should say most people's famous last words is, are hey, watch this. I mean, I'm just thinking of my part of the world. Again, the south the south of the north. 
where we drink a beer. We look at we look at something that we have no athletic ability looking at and doing and go, I can make that jump. Hold my beer, watch this. Dale died today attempting to jump a 30 foot gap with a malfunctioning ATV. His final words were, hold my beer, watch this. I feel like I'm like paraphrasing a, some comedian's joke. I feel like I'm paraphrasing a comedian's joke hardcore. But tell me that's not true in some aspect. Tell me that it has no, t try and tell me that has no weight. Yep. Uh, well, we're fighting a talus now. Uh, I want to, I'm going to just, well, I have more giant bright blooms than I have regular bright blooms. Well, we're doing like this. Hi, Hor Hi Hans. Uh, we are going to go, I was going to say raw power, but we'll use this. It still breaks stuff. I missed the shot. There we go. Grab some pose on my way up to my target. All right, and we're off. And turn. I'm trying to like, aim. oh, you are right in my face, buddy. I was, I was ready. I was ready to pop the thing. Hold on, what's that? Have I marked that? I have not. This is a bad time to do this, by the way, Scooter. <laughs> labor, 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 labor. Wait, the fight. <laughs> With that raw display of gamer skill, I'm going to end things here. Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time when we're close to finishing up this fight with this talus. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.